Combination doesn't it doesn't really matter like what order that you put it in. And then the permutation does. So this is grouping order does not matter. Mm -hmm. And what's the other one? The permutation. Order does matter. So give me an example of both. Um, what are your easiest examples? Combo. Um, so what's a combo? Uh, like the in and out combo. What's an in and out combo? What's your um, favorite one? One, two, or three? One. One, okay, so that's a hamburger. Number two is your fries. And number three is a drink. When you order a combo number one, does the order matter? Does it matter if they go, here's your drink first, here's your fries, and then here's your burger? Mm -hmm. Or if they go, here's your burger, right. here's your fries, and here's your drink. Mm -hmm. Does that make any difference to the way it tastes? Does it make any difference to how much you pay? Does it make any difference for your order? Right, right here. No. Oh. The number one, right? The order does not matter. So that's always my fast food example. Mm -hmm. Because combo number one, combo number two, we always order that kind of stuff, right? Or you get any sort of combo in any sort of food situation, the way they deliver the food, it doesn't make it taste any different, <laughs> okay? The right. order that they deliver the food. Right. The word in here I give is per, and also the word mutation you can, and if you want to, we could come up with some sort of example for the word perm, like mm -hmm. your hair, your perm. Mm -hmm. But I always think of the word per as like each, right? Like each item, mm -hmm. right? Each item, each order, each person. We're having a world competition. It doesn't matter if I'm first, second, or third. Yeah. It doesn't matter if you're first, second, or third, right? Mm -hmm. In this situation, each person cares one, two, and three. Mm -hmm. Or I had the fun one of a mutation for X Men because my example is Wolverine. He's immortal. So if you want to talk kill count or casualties, Right? Does it make a difference for the X Men in the order that they run into battle? Yeah. Yeah. Because if you could just send Wolverine, yeah. you're good. Yeah. <laughs> He'll take care of everything, right? right? So the order matters in these situations, while in a combination, it does not matter. And then we do want to talk very quickly about the two. I'm going to do it right here. Is. Okay, so the thing I want to point out is that if you have a group, let's say there are three items on the board, hamburger, fries, and a drink, right. and in combination you're choosing all three of them, it's only going to always be one group. So if N is equal to R in this situation, mm -hmm. it's just going to be one. Right. Right? Because mm -hmm. if I have five things, how many ways can I group those five things together is always just going to be that. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Okay. So, also, combination versus permutation, which one's going to be bigger? Well, if I have three things, and I'm putting them in three different, in order for three things, so you, me, and let's say your dad are running a race, right. it matters who gets first, second, mm -hmm. third, right? Yeah. And so, technically, it's going to be the three people can get the first one, sec two people can get the third one, one person can get the last one, and so that's going to give us a total of six, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Right? right? So permutation of three things and four things. And if you notice, the permutation number is always going to be greater than the, the other one. The combination. What we want to do is we want to understand it becomes this little tree branch. What I mean is that here's the first, second, third, and fourth places. 
A can be first, B can be first, C can be first, D can be first. Once they've been chosen, you've got three people left. B, C, D. A, C, D. A, B, D. A, B, C. Right? From each of those, so here we've got four possibilities. We've got left with three here for each of them. Right? One, two, three, four, multiplied by three. How many are left? Each of them have two that branch off, and each of those have one from there. So each of these, right, if I say that's a total of six times four, or I can say four times three times two times one is my 24 total different ways that I can put them in order. Okay? So let's say that uh, there was six. Um, and you and there were, and you had to pick three. You would, it would be six times five times four. If you had six, let's do that. Six. Right. Or actually, we're doing permutation yeah. still. Mm -hmm. Six times five times four, because that's a three. Correct. Very good. Okay. There are two equations that they give you as well. The permutation equation, and they also give you the combination equation. Do you have them memorized? Do you know them? Um, one more was like, I think it was, was it n minus r factor over n or something? Write it down and let's see if you're right. <laughs> Let me show you this. I know when I was going through school, I had no freaking idea what this meant. It was tough. Okay, this I wouldn't even use this. I would just go back to this thing. This space, this, this space, this space, this space is this though. And I'll show you why. Let's do our instead of it being six three because the three makes it just halfway. It's it's hard to visualize. Let's actually do this. Let's do nine permutation. Three, okay, mm -hmm. and then we'll do nine combination two as well, okay. Mm -hmm. That way it's a little bit easier. So we do see that n is our nine, r is our three. So according to this equation, well, let's actually start off with what we originally would do. Would be just three things in that order: nine times eight times seven, because we have three spots, and we start from nine and we're going down because we're using up our numbers, right? Now watch this. That's a 9 factorial. So 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay? Mm -hmm. n minus r, that's a 6, right? 9 minus 3 is a 6. So that's 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. You see that? Yeah. And what we do want to remember as well is that, remember my little drawing, my little chart of everything that I just showed you? Yeah. On that chart, if you notice, A, B, C shows up here, shows up there, shows up there, shows up there. And so we got, have to divide it out out of each one of the sections that it repeats itself in. Mm -hmm. And so that's why in a combination, the repetition of it is shown by that R. And so what we end up doing here is we take this 9, eight, seven, which you now can just shortcut yourself. Mm -hmm. And you take this number and use that factorial to divide out the extra excess. Because their combination of hamburger, co uh, drink, and fries, if you had nine items on the menu to choose from, right, right you're going to have this many combinations to get 
But they could hand it to you in this many different ways. Oh, but that doesn't matter in the combination. This doesn't matter right? here. That one, right? Oh, but okay. if it was a race and you're ranking those three things, or if it's oh. nine people running a race, right. the groupings of first, second, third place would be this many. Oh, okay. But the number of ways for second and third place would all be different because we all care who wins. First, right. second, third place would right. be different. Oh, okay. That makes sense? Yeah. Thank <laughs> you.